Welcome back to the main course grilling competition. Hey, when you're grilling, you should be swelling. Here's your host, Mike Pettit, with a couple of wine guys on Grill Seekers. It's more summertime fun, and with me now is Jamie from MS Walker. Exactly. exactly. MS Walker, we get some great wines today. Absolutely, we're and in the Southern Hemisphere. Little Southern Hemisphere, we're out here. It's Good New grilling. England. Good grilling. If I was gonna have some ribs, what would you recommend? Malbec is the key. Big, deep, brooding, heavy for the sauce, perfect to company for barbecue. Malbec, the hottest grape varietal in the country. Red wine. So Malbec. we got our red meat, what about some chicken? Chicken, we gotta go with some Viognier. Viognier, a very rare grape from uh, France, grown in Chile. Uh, it's got some honeysuckle, peach influences, rich Chardonnay flavors, perfect for that grilled chicken. Whole line's $9.99. $9.99? Yeah, I can't beat it from all the way up from Chile. I can't believe they can bring that process in for that cheese. And they can pick it right up, obviously, at the main course. Main course, got them all. Juicy tips from the grill with Big Grill Johnny. Brought to you by Johnsonville. Johnsonville, sausage is all we do. Hey, Big Grill Johnny here with your juicy tip for the day. My friend Bob Palmer is gonna show us one of his best steaks. Tell me about it. Well, it's a nice ribeye steak uh, from uh, Brant Beef, which is an all natural 300 uh, day corn fed, no hormone, no antibiotic, natural steak. Nothing but the beef. The kind of cattle that get that massage yeah, daily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They rub eating, them down. They're eating nothing but uh, corn and alfalfa sprouts for 300 days. A little caviar too, don't they feed them caviar exactly. a couple times a month? Exactly. Nice. When they need a little champagne That's on all. the side, why not? Inch and a half thick. Now yes. that, you're not messing around. And I see from what you put on this steak, tell me what you did. Just a little bit of light olive oil on there, some kosher salt, right. some nice uh, coarse ground pepper and some garlic. What, what, wait a minute. Yeah, it is. The steak's actually speaking for itself here, isn't it? It is a beauty. What do you say we get to the grill? Oh, that sounds good. You hear that? That's a nice hot grill. And why is a hot grill important? Well, it's important to put a sear on the edge of the meat. Walk in all those juices. Um, you don't want anything dripping out. You don't want to be piercing it with a fork or doing anything like that. You want to keep all the flavor in the meat, all the juices in the meat. Yeah. The most important thing when you cook a nice juicy steak like that is to finish it off on the plate, on the counter, or on the table, or somewhere, but not on the grill. It wants to spend its last five minutes um, letting all the juices settle back into the meat. And uh, because you always want the juice in your mouth, you never want the juice on the plate. It actually continues cooking once you take it, it off. It does, it does. And that's uh, another thing is it's important to, uh, if you like your steak medium rare, to cook it until it's rare. And then after it's done resting, it'll be medium rare. And uh, call that carryover cooking? Carryover cooking. Right. Hey, Bob, are we there yet? Come on, you know better than that, John. It's still going to take a couple of minutes. We have patience all right, is all right, important. All right. You want a perfect yeah. piece of meat? You better be patient. I'm going to listen to the big guy this time. So there's only one thing that's better than grilling a steak. What's that? Eating a steak. You got it. Perfect. Now that's a medium rare steak. That's what How about uh, uh, patience paying Cut off. me a little chunk that I can taste. You got it. You got it. This guy's all right. That's what we're talking about. Mm. Mm. That's all I got to say. Mm. What? That's it, right there. Cut! He is cutting it. Juicy tips from the grill with Big Grill Johnny. Brought to you by Johnsonville. Johnsonville sausage is all we do. With me now, Gregory Fitch. Gregory right. Fitch from? Uh, U Hamilton Winery, McLaren Vale, Australia. The Australia. Australia, mate. I like it. <laughs> Tell me about your wines. Uh, well, this is a lovely wine that we have called the Knickknack Aussie Red. It's one of the perfect barbecue wines, and this is why we wanted to feature it today. Like the name. This is uh, just a little field blend. It's a uh, little knickknacks, little bits and pieces left over from the winery, all from our estate range, blended together to just have a nice, perfect uh, barbecue feel to it. So if you're doing ribs, doing burgers, doing steaks, the wine is going to taste fantastic and go down nice and smooth. So it's with anything where you're going to have fun and friends. That's where, you, uh, that's where the wine really Shines out, so. Nick Knack. Nick Knack. Patty Whack. Food, fun, and culture. Fantastic. <laughs> Part of New England in summertime is enjoying ice cream. And with me now is Ken from Chili Cow. Love the name. Thank you. Did you create that? No, unfortunately, 30, uh, about 30 cases of beer were involved in coming up with the name. <laughs> Tell me about Chili Cow. Well, Chili Cow, let's see, we first started out as a ice cream company in Arlington, Massachusetts. Arlington? Years back. Can I try some? Absolutely. What kind would you like? Uh, any kind. Anna, what do you want? See this chin? I'm not picky. Any ice cream is good ice cream. <laughs> I'm feeling a nice, rich chocolate. Isn't that amazing? That is real. 
but the chocolate didn't hit me right away. It kind of hit me on the back end. But all of a sudden, bam! Right in the back of the head. I got hit from nowhere. That's it's the point. chili cow. You gotta check these guys out. That's good. It's time for the main course grilling competition. Sometimes you win, and sometimes you just go home with a full belly. It's all good. Here's Big Grill Johnny. Ciao, Davido. Hey, ciao. <laughs> Look at this. Grilled chicken parmesan. Ribeye steak. Uh-huh. Dredged in olive oil with a steak rub. We've got strip sirloin. Uh, doing a little bit of the sweet and salty kind of thing going on. Indian spiced lamb burgers with some non bread buns. Griller number one is Mike with his marinated steak tips and a homemade marinade. Yummy. Mike, 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 Mike. It looks like you brought a few friends today, huh? Mike, Mike. Hey guys, who's gonna win today? Mike. A lot of stiff competition, but I think he's got a chance. That looks like some tasty steak. Griller number two is Ed with his honey mustard chicken. He used Bell Evans chicken marinade. Sweet. Chef Ed, what are you making today? Got my special, special sauce the family brought over from the old country. Special it's sauce, no. Special sauce is a honey mustard. There's a lot of old countries, which one? Connecticut. Connecticut, very old country. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, this is um, Bell and Evans uh, honey mustard. Bell and Evans honey mustard marinade, course. okay. Yeah. yeah. Why do you like that marinade? I like the way it tastes. Okay. Good stuff. Yeah. All these guys with all the fancy stuff. I think mm -hmm. they're compensating, really. This chicken looks really nice and tender, though. It looks very juicy. We'll see if the judges yeah. think so. Good luck today. All right. Thanks. thanks for coming out. All right. Thank you. You know, firemen save lives, but they're also great cooks. Here's Fire Chief Charlie with his marinated ribeye. And this grill game's on. Chief, tell us what you're preparing today. All right. So we have the uh, marinated ribeye. Matt started last night. Last a night. A little bit of olive oil, got some fresh lemon juice. But of course. Uh, green onion, a little bit of garlic. Green onion and garlic. Marinated overnight, looks good, nice and uh, nice and tender. A nice, simple, but tasty marinade. Yep. You're letting this meat, which is a ribeye, speak for itself. Yes, yeah, sir. Awesome. And the, uh, the one on the side, we got a little portobello mushroom. He's got his steak perfect. Seared on the outside, nice, warm, red center, medium rare. I can see the juice just kind of squeezing its way out there. Looks perfect, can't wait to try it. All right, here we go. Sign of a great chef. Thank you. Fantastic. Mike, question. How long did you marinate these? And when we come back, we're going to find out which grill guy brought his grill game to the main course grilling competition on Grill Seekers. Hey folks, it's me, Mike Pettit with Grill Seekers TV. You know, you want to get your grill game on? Well, you're going to check out Team Grill. Team Grill has the Patriots, Red Sox, the Celtics, and of course, Boston College. It's tailgating season, and grilling's a sport. So go to teamgrill.com, and you tell them the Grill Seeker sent you. Marty's US RV is the official RV supplier of the Grill Seekers TV show. The Super Cruiser looks super. Thanks, Marty. Stop in, say hi to Marty at Marty's US RV, and you tell him the Grill Seekers sent you. Juicy Johnsonville Sausage, made with only premium cuts of pork since 1945. Mm. Johnsonville, sausage is all we do.